Hey YouTube and welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight I'm going to be making chili because it's getting cold again. Well, it's I guess already cold today, but it's going to be really cold the next couple of days. And I'm going to be making my mom's recipe. It's been passed down. I'm not sure who originated the recipe. It is bean containing, so I'm sorry to ruffle your feathers, but this is the way it should be done. So buckle up and we'll get started. If you're not new around here, you know that I am a big fan of being prepared, so I'm going to start by chopping my onion. By the way, this is a white onion. I really like onion. I don't mind the texture of onion, and this is going to cook down in the pot with the meat too. So I'm leaving these pieces pretty big, but if you're not really an onion fan, uh, you can half the amount of onion or cut them up into really small pieces. Finely mince them. Once we're done with the onion, it's time to tackle the garlic. Once we've got our veggies ready, it's time to start sauteing the meat. And I've got chili ground this time, but you don't have to get chili ground, just any kind of ground beef, or you can use turkey, but we always use beef. You want to make sure that your ground meat gets really nice and brown, almost completely brown before adding any of the onions or the garlic. And if there's a little bit of stuck on bits at the bottom, that's totally fine. You can scrape them off and they will just add to the flavor. All right, now it's time to add our onion. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I like to soften the onion a little bit before I add the garlic because the garlic can get overcooked and have kind of a bitter flavor. Now for health reasons, because I'm using beef, I am going to drain out what fat I can. I don't always drain out 100% of the fat because the fat, I'm going to add flour or some type of thickener in just a little bit and it helps to combine with the flour or cornstarch or whatever you want to use to help thicken the chili later. Finally, it's garlic time. Now that we've both drained the grease and added the garlic, it's really important to stir frequently so nothing sticks to the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and cool my garlic off by adding two cans of beans. I use ranch style. My mom uses chili beans, but my husband prefers ranch style. And I buy one can with jalapenos and one can with uh, onions if they have it ready. Oops, dropped a lid. I also add two cans of tomato sauce. This is really where the bulk of the sauce comes from, is the tomato sauce. Give that a good stir. And to waste as little sauce as possible, I always fill up the tomato sauce can with water, and that's the water I use to sort of hydrate the chili. You'll notice I added some flour, the thickener. I should have added that before I added the sauces and the beans, but it's not a big deal. As long as you add the flour while it's cold and not hot, if you add the flour when it's hot, it will clump up and you'll have a problem. Here I am adding the seasonings. As always, I'll put the recipe in the description, but just for those who are listening to this, it is four tablespoons, three and a half to four tablespoons chili powder, one tablespoon of sugar, or you can half that if you don't want it super sweet, but it does cut the acidity of the tomatoes. One and a half teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of red pepper. Once you've gotten your spices added, make sure to give it a really good stir, scrape any stuck on bits from the bottom if there are any, and let it simmer. I'm a big advocate of tasting as you cook. It makes you become a better cook because you know how things are affected and your food will be delicious whenever it's finished. Look how delicious and thick that is. Yes, I know it has beans, but like I said, this is the way I grew up on chili and I just can't have chili without beans. It's just not right to me. I would simmer this for at least an hour before taking it off the heat. Dress it up however you like and enjoy. Enjoy. 